Oh, another nice sunny day here. So um, we're just gonna look at um, a new thing from Outwell, and that is the replacement for their fantastic kitchen storer. So this is the old Outwell kitchen storer. You see, it's, a, it's quite a big sturdy box, carries a lot of stuff. Uh, we've been using it for years. Unfortunately, it was discontinued several years ago. And um, we have a lot of questions as to where can we find uh, one of these kitchen stores? Um, it's a bit overfull at the moment with a lot of gear in there. Um, some of which don't need. Um, just having a pre-camp sort out. Um, obviously we've got a lot of um, my existing collapse gear, like uh, this uh, collapsible saucepan. It's had lots of use. Um, <laughs> probably not as much use as the collapsible kettle here. Um, I just popped that out. There we go. So that's our, our um, kitchen storer. It's, uh, it takes a lot of stuff to the campsite. And uh, we basically put in a kitchen here, fill it up stuff, take it to campsite. And although some stuff in here can be emptied into the kitchen units at the campsite, a lot of stuff can just stay in the store, making it easy to take it and out. But say, that well, discontinued it um, several years ago, but there is a replacement. And that's this. This is the Outwell Margate, and as you can see, it's packed flat. Um, it's like some of the other packed flat items from Outwell um, that's following other sort of UK um, seaside towns. So this is Margate, and we, you might have seen our video on the Barmer, for example. Excuse the dog. Right, and now hopefully the dog's not going to interrupt. Yeah, so this is, this is the Margate. Nice and flat, packed like uh, some of the other Outwell foldable items. So we're just gonna unbox it here and um, this is the first time I'm getting it out to have a look. So immediately we've got it in uh, two pieces. Um, I think it should be straightforward to go together. I should always read the manual. Um, yep, yeah, so it simply unfolds. And then this piece, this piece looks like the interior. So that's the base. Um, little tab on the base, tab side up, make it easy to pull out. I see. Right, so immediately with the base in there, that's very rigid. As you can see, we've got uh, Velcro down the side and that's for these dividers. So, let's put the divider in. Velcro in place. Good thing about this is if you want to store larger items and you don't need the dividers, they're easy to take out. Um, and this is this divider has some little storage pockets. Um, very much the old Outwell storer, kitchen storer had uh, for lots of these pockets. It's nice to see them continuing. Okay, so that's the dividers inside. And uh, yeah, so lots of storage on the out pockets on the outside. You might see we've got lots of storage pockets on the outside of our old storer. Ideal for all sorts of bits and pieces. Um, for example, toilet roll, we've got wash bag, dirty laundry bag, bin bags. They can all go in here. Um, <laughs> shopping bags, tea towels, more bin bags. We seem to have got a lot of bin bags. That's the code to the campsite. Um, there's a lot of campsite these days, you also have recycling, so we have one bag for sort of general rubbish and then tins and cans. And then I've got a, a review of a new item coming up to, to help with exactly that. Um, so there's the kitchen store, but I'm gonna pack it up with some more new items that Outwell have gladly and kindly sent us over. So, first off, we need something to eat off of. Now, this is the Outwell Gala four-person uh, dining set. Um, again, first time unboxing this. So let's see what it's like inside. Okay, everything's wrapped up. Everything's wrapped up fresh inside, if you can see there. Okay. 
right so four cups in here four beakers that's ideal I'm probably gonna I'll put these in here for the moment I'm gonna need to repack it a bit better but uh, bowls let's get these out as well so four bowls they're good sized bowls actually aren't they very good sized bowls so dishwasher okay so here's some other stuff there dishwasher safe um, microwavable up to 100 degrees um, and freezable there we go okay set of uh, smaller plates and let's get the main dining plates out It's always good these unboxing videos. You can watch someone fumble around <laughs> right over the packets. There we go. Good sized dining plates. Um, got a bit of a deep side on them, which I think is uh, ideal for camping because sometimes things can easily get spilt, um, especially things falling off kids' plates. So they look pretty good. Um, yep, yeah, same same thing here. Um, dishwasher safe, you know. Um, so these are polypropylene, uh, dishwasher safe, microwavable safe and freezer safe. So you can might be able to see that on there. Okay, so that's the plates in the kitchen. Um, of course you need something to eat off of. And I saw this pouch cuttery set, which again Outwell have um, kindly um, sent to us. So the old kitchen saw had a, a container for storing um, knives and forks and stuff. Um, things after a while did tend to fall out of that after many years. Um, but in here you get a pouch with all your cutlery in there. And um, you know we've had fairly basic um, camping cutlery for years but this you know this is really nice stuff. This is <laughs> you could use this at home. Um, so you can <laughs> You know, if, if you looked at that in the shop, you wouldn't think that's that's camping uh, cutlery. But yes, camping cutlery, uh, knife, forks, and tea sets of spoons, uh, teaspoons, normal sort of dessert spoons. Um, so yep, yeah, they will come in a nice little pouch. So that's perfect to actually put into the store in the pouch. Let's put all the cutlery back in there. So um, that's a really nice set, that is. Um, another little thing to glam up the camping. Right, uh, of course, you need to do some food prep, as you know we've done and do a lot of uh, cooking. So this going, we're going for our here. This is obviously the Outwell knife uh, set. So tuna knife set, as they call it there. Um, as you see though, it's also got uh, a peeler and scissors which are also very very useful on site it looks like these scissors have got like yeah is that a bottle opener or something on there so let's see if i can get into this package and of course i don't think so let's see i think the irony is is to get into the package with the scissors you need a pair of scissors so i shall get out our pair of scissors from the old kitchen set um, and this is where <laughs> here's where things fall out. Okay, so let's get this lot out so we can have a decent look. So one of the things I like about this is you've got proper size knives, and um, but they are completely sheathed and protected, uh, which is what you want for family camping. Um, Okay. Very well packed, should we say that? <laughs> Very well packed. Let's try it again and get the first item out. Okay, so here's the scissors. Uh, I like a pair of shears. These are really good. These are really good scissors. So they feel really quality. Right, let's see if I can cut the rest of this out. Of 
course, let's put it to test and use the scissors that come with this. That's making an easy, easy job of that. Um, these scissors are working easily through this. Right, have I cut the plastic away enough to get anything else out? Nope, I need to cut a bit more out. These are very well packed. <laughs> Great, okay. So here's uh, the first knife in uh, this year's sort of Outwell colours. As you know, they have a range of these colour styles. Um, quite a sharp edge by the looks of that. I'm not going to cut myself to test. <laughs> nice uh, rubber handle actually. Um, and we'll put it neatly into its sheath like that. Um, so again, that's nice and uh, secure. Let's see if we can get the other one out now. This other knife here has a serrated edge. Okay, again, there we go. You see the blades all coordinated in colour as well with a serrated edge on there. And again, we'll stick that nicely in its protective sheath. There we go. And the final item, if I can get it out of the packaging, is not wanting to come out, let's see. This is very tough packaging. I've not seen the packaging this tough in a while. Okay, eventually the packaging <laughs> relented. Um, so here's a, a nice fast peeler for um, doing sort of fresh veggies and stuff on site. Um, some of our campfire uh, recipes actually for um, campfire carrot fries. I think we've got uh, various different campfire potato cookings as well. So again, here we go with the set. Um, looking all very stylish and coordinated. And I'm gonna pop these down in here and with some of those going into the uh, compartments. We're not done yet. To also aid with the cooking is this Outwell utensil set. Again, comes in a little bag uh, which we can put inside the storer. Um, so of course, you know, you don't have to you don't have to get the Outwell items. These are all sorts of things that you can easily get. Um, but this is all coordinated with a complete set, which I know some of you out there like to get the full, the full range of things. So obviously we've got a risk, a whisk, a whisk, a ladle. Um, it's like a uh, pasta spaghetti thing, a big spoon and a spatula. So all the sort of things that you want to do for camping a kitchen. Um, and we've got a nice new camping kitchen unit which we'll show you when we get to the campsite um, and all this stuff works really well with that for cooking your family meals on site so they're in there um, not quite done yet mentioned the claps items we use lots of the claps items we use um, they're really good they're, they've been used so much um, they've they've put up with years and years of constant use you know especially this kettle and uh, we even had it on a wood uh, on the wood burning stove in one of our tents so they've they've done really well they don't take up a lot of space and really good well there's a few more outwell collapse items that are out here now so to go with our pan as well we've got some pots so here's a small pot and a medium pot. So let's open these up and see what they look like. Okay, so nice pot. It's got a, you see little holes there for venting. Yeah, it's in as well, little, um, a little sort of rubber uh, handle there. So you're not gonna burn yourself picking the lid off. And of course, out it pops. There we go. So that's not a bad little size pot for cooking things on, on like a two burner hob. And then we get the medium one out. 
um, again, get this out too. This is a 2.5 litre, this one. And what's the previous one? 1.4 litre. So this has almost got an extra litre in it. And the same thing again, got a large lid with the handle on. And there's the pot. You see when it comes out, it's a fairly good sized pot um, for cooking. And uh, there we go. So collapse it back up, squish it away. That's it, pot down. That can go in there, pot down. That can be stored that way up to take less space. And uh, there we go. So some new items there in the new Outwell Bargate kitchen storer. Um, I'm going to finish um, putting a few more bits and pieces in here, but um, so far it looks, a th gets the thumbs up. Obviously we're going to take it to the campsite and give it a really good real world test, but uh, yeah, so far it's looking really good.